Okay, this is the very beginning of a painting of a lady slipper. And I've just got everything all ready to go. I'm going to fill in the green parts first. And the idea of this lady slipper uh, is the, the flower part. The greens are very muted and uh, I'm just, I've just sort of blocked out how the uh, colors appear for the painting. So what I'm doing right now is just getting my acrylic paints ready to go. And I'm just gonna start popping in just very basic colors, the darks to start. And I'm just gonna basically fill in these geometric shapes around uh, the lady slipper flower. These are just going to be representation of leaves. Center part here is going to be white, so I'm just going to save, save that and fill in white later. So this acrylic paint is a little bit runny, but that's okay, it'll dry up. And there's a nice leaf here. It's more of a lime green. I'm just going to pop some color. Color here, see how that sort of looks. I like that green. So I'm just mixing some dark green and, and yellow to sort of make it lime green. Not really worried about detail at this point. Just getting my colors blocked. Um, let's do some lime green down here as well. A nice leaf. hear that? That's uh, Departure Bay, BC Ferries on Vancouver Island. Just taking off on uh, July 1st long weekend. Happy Canada Day. And that color. Probably can't see this over here but I've just got a mixing tray of yellow and green right now just sort of um, every couple strokes it's a good idea to get some just a slightly different shade of paint on your brush. Just makes for a more interesting leaf and sort of gives the idea of light and shade in the background of this lady slipper which is pretty true to nature. Lots of darks and lights. Okay, it's a little darker as so we get right under the lady slipper here. Again, not really a lot of detail, just laying down the color and then I'll fix it up once I see the total, total painting done. So right now I'm just filling in the geometric shapes here. 
on this leaf. There's kind of another sort of shape coming up this way. And what do I want? I want to darken out a little bit. Okay. Great. There's another bit of dark here that I can just... It's a nice geometric shape here and here. It really doesn't matter where you start. For me, in an acrylic painting. Just starting with the background because I want to see how the greens are going to look here. And a little bit of water, a little bit of acrylic, and some more shape here. It's dark. some green all the way through here. And I'm just mixing two different shades of green as we go around. Well, the nice thing about acrylics is they're very forgiving. There's something I don't like here. I can just paint over it with the color that I really want. And let's see, I'm going to go. There's a nice shape in here. These are just basically abstract kind of geometric style leaves. We'll just see how it all looks in the end here. And sort of a nice kind of leaf shape here. a little too yellow. Let's just tone that down a bit. There. And we've got lots of dark green coming through here. Just a little bit of a a bit of gray there, so we're going to just start. Green here to here. bit darker as we go down for contrast.
here. Nice bright emerald green coming through here now. Like I say, every couple strokes you just want to change up the color a little bit. I'm just adding some different greens as I go along, but mostly in the dark green shade. Good there. Some more yellow. This is more green coming here. Some yellow. And quite yellow here. Just outlining the top of the lady slipper basically now. And shape is sort of like that. Alright, we get the idea for green, so I'm just going to continue on here in a little bit. And uh, get the rest of the greens in here. And then I'll start on the um, flower. 